How's it going, YouTubers? Electron Man. You know, you guys have been asking me, uh, how did I make that king circuit on that little uh, RF amp I made? And I thought, you know what? It wouldn't be a bad idea to just go ahead and see if I couldn't draw it out on a on a piece of paper and, and present it to you that way. Maybe make it a little easier to understand. Um, mind you, I'm no instructor, and I don't claim to be, but I'll do the best I can at trying to explain this. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is... Uh, we're going to kind of show you how. We'll start from the radio and kind of go. Well, actually, let's start this way. First, uh, the whole point of the circuit is to, uh, when there's radio transmit, is to key the relay on your amp. That's the whole object. So we want to take RF and sense it on the radio to where it keys the relay. Well, what's going to do that is this transistor right here, this 2N222. And you could use several other ones. Just a small a switching transistor will do that, about any of them. Uh, uh, I've got 3905s, 3904s, uh, I think they'd probably do it too, but anyway, I always use a 222, just kind of out of habit, but uh, anyway, you take this transistor, and uh, you've got an emitter, a collector, and a base, and what this transistor is going to do is it's going to do that switch that you're wanting, and you've got to think of this transistor as nothing more than, a, uh, than an electronic switch. Basically, what happens is, is when it senses current I think it's 0.7 microvolts, something like that, um, of current, it will close. And when it closes, what it's going to do is it's going to close the loop for your relay. Because, you are you know, you're going to have power, whatever the power requirement are for your relay. It's going to be powered. You're also going to have your uh, your signal going through here. But, uh, you know, that, that's that's part of the relay circuit. We're not, we're not talking about that. We're talking about the keying circuit, which keys the relay. The relay is another part of it. But, uh, so anyway... So you got you got your power here, but but without a without a ground, it's got a, it's basically it's open switch is open here. So all we need to do to make this relay shut is ground it, and that's what this transistor is going to do right here. It's going to basically think of that as a toggle switch. It's, you know it's off as soon as you transmit, it turns it on, which closes the loop, which then connects the relay to ground, which activates the relay. Now there's a few other components to this you need to do because uh, you can't just hook RF straight into a transistor for one thing and blow it up. Um, you know, even a even a CB radio, etc. You know, uh, even one or two watts would be too much uh, current for that transistor. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this 10 picofarad, and you could use a 10 or 20, somewhere around there, uh, picofarad. I use a ceramic, or you could use a metal clamp, whatever. Just a 10 picofarad. Uh, capacitor here and what it's going to do is it's going to take a sample off of that RF just a small sample and that sample is what we're going to send into to the uh, to the 2N222 and it basically it's going to take a little bit of voltage from from the RF coming in that little sample will go into the 2N2 and uh, and that right there will cause the relay or the transistor to shut and will close the relay now there's a couple other components you want to put on here um, you definitely you want to put a, a 0.47 microfarad capacitor across here because uh, if you don't it's going to chatter because right now coming out before we go into the diode and into this circuit here that the, all that all that uh, capacitor did was it filtered out most of the current but the current's still AC we want to turn that to DC and that's why we're doing this and that current turns it to DC and then what the uh, what the 0.47 microfarad cap does is it actually smooths out that DC. Think of it almost like a power supply, and this is basically, this is here to smooth out the sine wave because it's going to be real jattery. And if you don't have that in there, more than likely that relay is going to chatter because that, that uh, transistor is going to be switching, switching, switching because it's going to see that alternating current. You know, we want straight DC so that it shuts, shuts solid. And then I, I, I guess really that's that's about it. I think, golly, um, it shouldn't. I'm trying to think, if there's anything else I need to explain to you. But basically, yeah, you, you you've got the current going through. It turns it into DC. This smooths it out, and then uh, then it clicks the uh, or shuts the read or the transistor, and then uh, creates a loop, which makes the chassis ground to the relay close. You've already got hot to it. The relay closes. Now, obviously, this would probably be more like I should need to draw a big old box here because this is probably going to be a relay well in, in my instance that little any mini PA amp I built that, that little RF amp you know the, re, the relay is just a small component on the board you know what you'll have to do on that one if you want to do it on that is, is you just need to isolate your ground 
and then uh, obviously the same thing's going to work. It's going to, you know, uh, it's already got power to everything else, so that whenever you shut that ground down, it'll you know cause that relay to click. But uh, but basically, yeah, this you know, and if you're talking to any type of amp, um, it's going to have this circuit here, and uh, it's going to have to have a relay to uh, to switch on and off because there's so much current going through an amp, you can't do it through a transistor, or you it wouldn't be practical, much more practical to go through a relay. Anyway, I probably got too long-winded here. Hopefully, that gives you a good explanation on how to uh, how to wire a uh, RF King circuit for a uh, an amplifier. If you haven't already, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And guys, have a great day. This is the Electron Man.